Hello, welcome back. My name is Nate, and uh, today we're going to go over a basic tutorial on the Acvis Airbrush uh, software program version 7.0. Thanks for stopping by to listen. Now, what we're going to do is just go over some of the basic um, items of, of this program, how to open an image, uh, how to uh, convert it to the, um, the airbrush technique. Uh, it's really simple program to use and there's a lot of different features uh, that you can um, incorporate with uh, the airbrush settings to kind of give you just a, a multiple amount of unique options uh, uh, and results. Uh, I also at the end want to go over a little bit about batch printing and how you can take multiple photos and convert them to whatever airbrush preset that you want to. So with, let, with that, let's start. Um, I've got the Acvis airbrush software program open. Um, got a photo up here. The way that you bring a photo into the, um, the system is you select this uh, button here, which will, of course, uh, open up a file to choose. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select the forest um, photo that I've got. A, I've got a list of free public domain images that we're gonna work with today. And so that brings up the uh, image. And what you see here is the, uh, the preview of what the uh, airbrush render will look like when it's done. And you can move this preview anywhere you want on the system if you have a, or on the photo, if you have a particular area you want to look at to see how the, the render will look. And uh, so yeah, once you open up the photo, um, you just click the, um, this is the before tab, and then you click the after tab, and just like that, it renders, uh, the photo uh, with the airbrush technique. <laughs> it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, it's very quick and there's so many options you can use here. So that is kind of the, the default, the ACFIS default setting. And if you come down here to presets, you can um, review just a plethora <laughs> of options here that you can use. And one thing I like about the the airbrush software, unlike the, the sketch, um, Acvis sketch, this actually, when you look at your presets, it will, um, it will actually show you the full photo of what it will look like with that particular preset. So, um, you know, if I'm looking here at, uh, you know, light colors, I could bring that in and click after and it will put that preset up or let's go look at spring and click that one and again it's very very quick on how it will open up the uh, or render the actual particular set um, photo to that the airbrush setting um, so let's go back to default um, one thing I like and this is uh, something that you can do with the system as well is you can actually take a preset and make some adjustments to it um, and then have it uh, you know s set up to that certain preset um, for, all, for all your photos that you want to do. So I like to click this uh, over um, in the color section. The standard Acvis default is for monochrome. I like this um, original color type setting. And then up here you have a lot of slide bar options where you can um, make changes to to the settings that you want to look at. So one thing I like is on, on this on that default setting, I like it to be a little more sharp. So I'm going to put that move that up. And again, if you if you move these slide bars around and you want to go back to what the original is, you just push reset and then that that brings it back to the original again. So but I'm going to switch that to colors. I'm going to take the sharpness up. And then, yeah, I like that 
that a little bit better and we're going to render that and then down here i can actually create my own preset so i'm a um this you know off the default changing the colors adding sharpness i'm i'm gonna um name this preset uh Actvis nate and i'm gonna go ahead and save that and now in the presets here at the bottom uh, my own little preset is here so you can use that um, we can open a different image here uh, butterfly and put that before and after and just so quickly it will render any photo into that airbrush setting <laughs> it's just really amazing what this what this program can do um, so the other thing, the other feature that I wanted to show you today, that which I think is just really cool, is this batch processing um, item here. So up here, if you click batch processing, you can take a whole group of photos that you have in a folder, and the Acfis Airbrush um, software system will render all of those to that setting that that you've you've uh, created or or whatever template setting you have. So I've clicked on that button to open up the batch processing options. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see, I'm going to select this, uh, this folder of um, images that uh, I want to uh, render into this airbrush setting. And then I'm going to select the uh, same folder to have that it's pulling the images from to actually put the new airbrush um, results into uh, i'm using my customized preset that i just made uh, you do have some options of different qualities that you can use i'm just going to use the basic uh, best quality jpeg system here and then the file name uh, i'm going to leave it at source name so what it will do is it will create a new image using that same source name that we have uh, and it will add i believe a like the name airbrush at the end so that you can differentiate between the two all right so we're gonna go ahead go ahead and hit start and very quickly uh this program is gonna go through and process the eight images i have in that folder and uh, render them into this airbrush result based upon the setting that i've created so uh here is that folder now, so let's just look at what it did. So it took uh, this photo here and <laughs> rendered it into this airbrush um, result. Uh, here, the butterfly one, and we kind of saw what that did before. Uh, here's a crystalline background that it's airbrushed for us. Uh, a field of flowers into a airbrush painting uh, that forest picture that we saw before mountain setting and again it's just you know pretty impressive it will take a whole set of images in your folder and render them to that saying that you've had so very uh, time efficient if you have a whole group of photos that you want to create to a certain standardized setting so uh yeah there you have it that's kind of the the basics of the Acvis airbrush and how to uh, use the various settings and uh, slider bars and and also a little bit about how to do uh, that that batch processing i uh, hope you found this uh, video interesting i'm gonna in the description uh, leave a link to the software program if you um, want to try it out i you can download the software program and i think they give you a 10-day free trial to uh test it out it has all the features that the the purchase program has that you can use for 10 days and um you know i've looked at a lot of different software programs um that does that does this type of feature Acvis is in my opinion the best um the most easy to use and ro most robust of the the ones designed to do this so anyway 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch. And uh, hope you get a chance to try out the Acfis Airbrush software program and have some fun making changes to your own photos. Thanks again.